Hello, my beautiful badgers, Messi Coda back again with another asset store review. This time it is the fantastic dungeon pack from Tidal Flask Studios, and I'm also playing about with the modular stylized human blacksmith and the stylized fantasy drake from Enhanced Studios, all over on the Unity Asset Store, and there's currently a 50% sale. So you'd be crazy to miss it. Sit back, enjoy this beautifully fantastic review in a second. Oh my, I'm so clever. Here we are inside Unity, and I've put in the fantastic dungeon pack from Tidal Flask Studios, as well as Game Creative, as always, so we can run around, and the modular stylized human blacksmith, and stylized fantasy drake from Enhanced Studios, just to give this demo a little bit more of a game feel, because I have to tell you, these demo scenes that you get with the fantastic dungeon pack from Tidal Flask Studios do feel like they are <laughs> levels of a game. It's you've, you've basically made a game. Tidal Flask, you've got to stop making assets so darn flippable. Now, there are over 600 unique assets in this pack, so I have to warn you, we will not be going through every single one, one by one. Let's click play and see what happens. As I say, over 600 assets in this pack. It's crazy talk. 350 of those are modular architecture assets. 371 of those are pre-assembled dungeon modules. I like that they're pre-assembled. You've got 301 unique props, five, uh, 52 pre-assembled prop comp uh, compositions, it's called it. Now, the poly count for the architecture, like looking around here, these walls and things, they range from 2 to 505. It's where the 2 are. <laughs> it's just a plane, not a me. I'm going to be coughing every now and again because I've got my hands on the keyboard and the mouse, and I won't be able to pause to stop my coughing in time. Thank you, COVID! And we've also got over, um, well, two to 2,136 tries on the props. Now, I've thrown in some scripts I've made, and I will share these, so that you can do things like that. See that? Lovely. Now, I didn't put them on here so they'd poke up and stab you, because you'd be expecting me to lose health. And I'm too lazy for that, but it's so easy for you to do that if you wanted to put a trigger on there. Look at these as they come through. Spikes on the walls. You've got levers here as well that you could put controls on. There, look at that. Swing and suck. Indiana Jones. Swing and chop your head off. Um, look at the bricks. I love the textures in this pack. Now, I have been playing about with the lighting. So, it normally would be baked, but I put on a real time. I do apologise. But, I've only got so much time in the world. Look here, skeletons, lovely and scary. Oh, they're not rigged though, so I don't expect them to be rigged. But you know what? If you're with a blender, I'm pretty sure you could do it yourself. As I say, this is a massive demo. Even the first one is a massive demo scene in itself. As you can see, we're running around all these props, laying out bowels, uh, knives, potions, candles. Oh my word, it's more like a castle than a dungeon at times but fair play it can still be a dungeon i wonder if they're going to do another stylized fantastic castle pack hopefully and then you'll be able to see the, the dish like put this dungeon underneath the castle that'd be great okay let's go upstairs can we don't poke yourself again i've put another one of those little scripts on here and as we run around cobwebs rocks Chains as well. <coughs> there really is. Oh, a lot of stuff. As I say, over 600. Whoa, floating candles. Hello, floating candles. It's haunted. Ooh, spooky. More cobwebs. You know, when it's haunted, when there's cobwebs everywhere. So I would put big colliders in here to stop you from being able to get through, personally, myself. I put a big collider to go. You can't go through here. Just to stop people accident whoa accidentally doing things like that. Leaping through walls. But as I say, this is not a, this is not a game. This is just a demo scene. A massive demo scene. We're still exploring. How big this demo scene. It's crazy. Crazy big. This is just one of the many demo scenes that we do get in this pack as well. It's not like this is the only demo scene. This is one of many. We try and find the portal 
I'm lost. It, this damage is so big, I'm actually lost trying to find the portal. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, you know what? I'm not jumping down there. I am not jumping down there. You can call me silly, but I'm not doing it. Uh, let's go down here. We plop down there and out of here. I think. Oh, there it is. There's the portal. My word. Right. Should we go in? Boop. Loaded into another demo scene. Thankfully, he's numbered his demo scene, so it kind of feels linear. It's like a story he's telling. Now you can obviously, if you're here, then you're fighting. Oh, I'm gonna get back. Poke, 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 slash, poke, poke. As you're running around, look all these braziers here. Braziers, even. Braziers. Oh, ooh, I miss this. Look at those braziers with the braziers in. Uh, now, let's go through this portal. Lovely long carpet there. Or rug, even. Like to see a, maybe more rugs. God rays thrown in. If you don't want to be using volumetric light, you can cheat and use these god rays, which is nice. Save you on those uh, if you're doing mobile. You can cheat in your god rays. It's nice. It's a nice gift to have those in, isn't it? Obviously, it's not as um, effective as true volumetric light in your scene. Again, let's have a look over here. Oh, standing on the table. Disrespectful. I do apologize. Books and knives and potions. Books and knives. Cats and boots and cats and boots. Let's go and look into here. What? Is that all the demo scenes? I hear you ask. No, there's even more demo scenes. Now, this one, I was a little bit cheeky with. So, what do I've done here? Oh, light the fires. Could have done an animation of him lighting them, couldn't we? Light the fires. Light this fire as well. And now, light the final fire. Oh, look, a new portal has opened up. Ah. See, those little scripts aren't included in there, but it's so easy to add in. I have to tell you, so easy just to throw those in. And I love this wood, this stylized wood texture that they have in this paint. All right, let's go through. A oh, rock with gold on. So you can be mining away. <laughs> let's go through. Ah, oh, it's a drink. There you go, you see? That is the uh, stylized fantasy Drake from Enhanced Studios. It works so well in this final boss level. This is the boss level in here. As I told you, it's like they've made a little game. It really, and they work so well with these stylized characters and creatures from Enhanced Studios. It's almost as though Tidal Flask and Enhanced Studios are working together to make a game. It really does look beautiful. This is the blacksmith who's running around. He's pretty nails, isn't he? I haven't put any... Uh, you could with Game Creator just have him fighting the dragon as well. But, as I said, you know, I'm far too lazy to do that. Come on. This was, this was good enough of me playing about to show you all this shenanigans. And uh, if we went through here, it doesn't actually do anything. So don't get too excited. It's not like it goes, game over. Congratulations, you've won the game. But look how beautiful. It really does feel like you're playing a game, doesn't it? It feels like you're playing a legit... Triple A game. You're getting these art assets from the Unity Asset Store. From Tidal Flask. Tidal Flask on 50% sale on the Unity sale. It's New Year's. We're still going to be going for a little bit more. It's beautiful, Drake, isn't he? Beautiful. I want to get those working with Melba's Dragon Controller. That would be awesome. If you're wondering how much stuff you're getting in this pack, this isn't. these aren't even the props. These are the architectural prefabs in this pack that's how big it is and it's got a nice naming convention as well so let's go down here naming convention o one-sided m pivot middle e pivot edge large uh, six units medium four units and small are two units here you go and some parts have additionally of directions s for path leads to south south east north south oh north and south uh south east west etc 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 and my word, look at them, this angular there. Beautiful, really are stunning. And saving on those uh, vert counts there. So much in this pack. 
I wish that I could just sit there, go through it all for you, but it's just too much. As you can see in that demo scenes, <laughs> just the, the variation that you could make. So imagine throwing this into something like, um, you know, those dungeon craters um, that you get over on the asset store, and these you could make stunning procedurally generated dungeons and castles and things. Huge, huge array of them. It hasn't even finished. Look, we go through these. Really is worth your money, especially in a cell. In the cell, it's a, a no-brainer. Loads, loads. Oh my word! It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. And there's some examples put together. Oh my word. Balcony. Romeo, Romeo. Where for out there, Romeo? Alright, let's pop into the props demo scene. Because that wasn't even the props one. That was just the architecture one. I'm going to save that. I don't know what changes I made, but I'm going to save them nonetheless. Do we have a camera in here? I don't think we do. So let's put an extended fly cam on here. Uh, aim it down right about here. Align that to the view. Click play. And. Let's have a look at the props we're getting. Oh, that looks lovely. Look, I got, I'm getting a Terry Pratchett feel looking at that. I really am. Oh, how could he not like Tidal Flower Studio stuff? I really want to find things that I don't like about it, but. And it's not like they've got millions of materials as well. They're, they're all sharing with different materials. So it's sensibly optimized. Look at that. I love that texture. Very cartoony feel. Just pause it a second so you can see the shader on that. Because I know you'll be asking, what's the shader on that? Is it some kind of special shader? Look at that. Standard. Unstandard. What about here? Standard. Standard shader. Standard. And it's looking sexy, which means you can very easily convert this into whatever ever shaders you want. Standard shaders. Not even using a tune shader on here. And it looks beautiful. Oh. Crazy. Oh, the naughty people in the cages. He's been there for a while, hasn't he? Oh my word. The thrones. Is there, is there going to be a vampire in there or is that a table? Nope, there is a, there's going to be a vampire inside. Let's see. Can we open that lid up? I'm going to say yes. Yeah, of course you can. Look, of course you can. What about this one? No, arms one piece. But that can come off. Beautiful fireplace where you're cooking a nice roast or boiling your stew or something in there. What have we got over here? A whole collection of gems and gold coins. Ke um, chests that open and close. Barrels, your classic shovel and a broom as well, and a bow, and swords and weapons, potions, oop, went a bit too far, potions here, and spider webs, a bit of nature, a little bit of nature to throw in there, so you've got nature going in to your dungeon, nothing crazy, very simple, two-sided, or one-sided rather, little bits of Plot, uh, leaves and grass and stuff. I love these. Now, are these, how are these done with the material? Let's have a look. Can we just change these to be something else? Are they two materials on there? No, they're not. Which, you know, it would be expensive to have them as two materials. 
But I'm going to say, easy for you to go into your Photoshop or your favorite graphic editor and change those to be something other. Uh, if we have a look at the image here, what are we getting? We get a yellowy one, a gray one, a blacky one, and a, and a other orangey one. So that's these ones here. There's the four of them. Oh, it's a buried. Oh, look at that. Look at the textures in the ground with the bones on. Oh, beautiful pack. Very beautiful. Get it while you can on a sale. And even if it's not on a sale, if you're making these type of games, then they're well worth it for you. Because you pretty much, even in this pack alone, you're getting enough to make a fun game. And if you're getting all of the Fantastic series, well, you're making an entire stylized world. And there's the levers that you can be pulling to set off or save yourself from the traps that will be poking you in the bum. Well, if you do like these videos and want to see more, do not forget, click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below. It doesn't cost you a penny. It's nice and free. Pop over to Twitch as well. Pull up a follow down there. Go over to Twitter or the W's or Twitter. TV, uh, TV com slash Messy Coder. The Twitch is slash Messy Coder. YouTube is slashing the Messy Coder. Pretty much anywhere you want to slash the Messy Coder, you can do it. So if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.